Hello YouTube and welcome back to World of Warships with Wadrace. And today's video, I am going to be starting down the line of Russian battleships as far as just uh, giving my reviews and impressions of them. And of course, this means we are starting with the tier 3 Russian battleship, the Kenyaz Suvorov. I sure hope I'm pronouncing that right. Lord knows the uh, Russians seem to enjoy their unpronounceable uh, ships. But overall, one of the things that I do have to say is that for a tier 3 ship, this is a reasonably strong contender. Um, there is one notable shortcoming that I am seeing with uh, all of the Russian battleships so far, not just the Kenyas Suvorov, in that they all have very short main battery ranges compared to their uh, contemporaries on the other lines. So, right from the start, you kind of end up struggling trying to get to be able to do much of anything, and if a match actually ends up lasting at long range where you're just... it, it seems like you're always on the fringe of the battle, you're really not going to be able to get much done just because you're going to be spending the vast majority of your matches just kind of chasing everything all over the map trying to even just get in range in the first place. On the other hand, one of the things that I have noted is that if you take, instead of trying to go around the edges or uh, anything like that and play the typical battleship sniper sort of role, if you go into the center of a map and position yourself where you can either either uh, change the uh, side on which your armament is focused or just overall turn your ship around quickly enough, you can actually keep the vast majority of the maps within combat effective fighting range. And I think that's actually where the Russian battleships excel is they are definitely battleships that are good for pushing in to central locations and just kind of basically playing uh, map control from very, uh, well, I, maybe not quite exposed is the word I'm looking for. Just very central and commanding locations. Um, take that how you will, but it's definitely one of those things that these battleships will excel at, especially when you take into account their situational accuracy, which will definitely reward you with some very, very nice salvos at closer ranges. Um, I will definitely say that these ships, starting with the Kenya Suvorov again, are very capable of just obliterating targets very quickly at close ranges if you put your shells on to uh, target properly. And this cannot... this isn't just limited to cruisers and battleships either. If you have a good commander loaded with, uh, say, expert loader skill where you can switch your armament type very quickly, um, you can even be a nice, reasonable threat to destroyers that get into close range as well and just do substantial amounts of damage to them in a very short time frame. And speaking of firepower, we are going to get a very, very nice example of that in about 7 seconds. Oh yeah! <laughs> there are definitely not many cases where I can say that I have instantly deleted a uh, battleship at tier 3. Um, this, in fact, that's generally not something you start really being capable of up until about tier 8 or 9. So, I can definitely be very, very happy with... Uh, the firepower in close quarters of the Russian battleships, especially the Kenyaz Suvorov. One thing that the Russian battleships do definitely have going for them in uh, many respects is their very heavy armor profiles. 
especially at the tier 3, 4, and 5 level because they have very thick belt and side armor. Even if their deck armor isn't exactly the strongest and more than capable of absorbing lots of high explosive damage at least, the actual side and bow stern armor, those are phenomenal at, again, the tier 3, 4, and 5, so the Kinya Suvarov definitely has very strong bow tanking potential. And just that they they have very, very strong armor profiles for getting into those close quarter situations and pushing in where they can actually take full advantage of that situational accuracy that is going to be and is characteristic of the Russian battleship line. These definitely are not going to be used and should not be used as your long-range sniper ships. They just don't really have the range to be capable of that in the first place. And they are actually substantially better at close range than they are at long range. So you really just... They're, they're battleships that actually do excel quite substantially from pushing in as opposed to just kind of keeping things at uh, arm's reach, so to speak. Now, that's not to say that they can't still do well at max or uh, semi-long range, but again, if you want to get the most out of these guns, you really do want to push into that close range 10, 12, or 10 kilometer, 8 kilometer, 7 kilometer zone where these guns really just start pulling accuracy almost basically out of their ass if I'm being perfectly honest because that is the way it seems sometimes is you'll start shooting at a target at at range and then just as they get closer and closer it's just like this accuracy starts coming out of nowhere so that is one of those things to be wary of, especially if you are fighting them, is if you're, if you're pushing in on them, you're actually probably going to be hurting yourself more than helping. Um, again, especially at the lower tiers like the 3, 4, and 5. And overall, it, it, it can definitely be a rather uh, painful learning experience. Now, all of that having been said, I will definitely say that the Kinyas Suvorov is a rather fun experience at Tier 3, though she can have her rather boring moments, again, just due to her lack of main battery accuracy and occasionally just poor positioning. But overall, she is definitely a nice, strong Tier 3, basically entry-level battleship. Um, in some ways, I definitely even feel that she has things going for her that most of the other Tier 3 battleships do not, which make, which can and will make her a enjoyable experience for a wide array of players, up to and including your uh, dedicated SEAL clubbers, I suppose I should say. Though I guess I really shouldn't be uh, promoting that too much, though. Um, that being said... It's definitely a ship that will make, at least starting on the Russian line, feel a reasonably comfortable. And definitely put a nice, powerful ship into the hands of uh, newer or, in some ways, even experienced and uh, interested players. And definitely, definitely a very, very good jumping point for the rest of the line in many respects. Where matches do come out in your favor where your positioning is good and you just happen to get line of sight on the vast majority of the enemy ships and just able to uh, get numerous salvos out, this ship will definitely excel and bring you some nice very uh, high gain battles for a tier 3. As you can see in this battle, it was uh, almost 79,000 damage done, and 
I mean, the, this is a relatively good expectation of what you can come up with from a better player in t- a tier three uh, in the tier three Russian battleship, the Kenya Suvorov, and it is something that. Well, you can't expect all of your battles to be this way, again, because just due to positioning, so on and so forth, you may end up with some pretty lousy matches. I know I had one match where I only did like 1200 damage overall, because I never had anything in range. So that is just one thing to kind of keep in mind is you have to be very very wary of your positioning and making sure that you're somewhere where you will always be able to provide input to a battle anyway on that note i suppose i shall go ahead and let you all go i hope you have enjoyed this little uh preview of the tier three russian battleship and i hope to catch you all again next time happy hunting folks and take care